Hello, in this video I'm going to be explaining um, what the AMPS24 is and what I'm going to be using it for. Before we get started, I just want to say this video is not a replacement for the manual for this device. So if you actually have one of these, please read the manual before you even power it on. And I'm not liable for anything you do with this power supply. Let's get started with explaining how this thing works. There are two main parts of this power supply. There's the notifier CPS24, which is actually the power supply of this power supply. And this is upper board. And there's the AMPS24-K2 board, which is its lower board. And this is kind of the I.O. board and um, intelligent part that communicates with the fire panel. So if I kind of bring this up, you can see that there are two boards and then there's an aluminum chassis um, attached to the bottom of the CPS board. Um, and to connect these two, there is a row of gold pins right there, and that's how the two communicate. And you can see that the um, battery terminals and the AC power terminals are all on the CPS24. Um, CPS24 handles basically the battery switchover and the inversion between 120 volts AC and 24 volts DC. Um, on it, it has a 5 volt rail and a 24 volt rail. Um, I believe there's 3 amps of power available on these two terminals right here. And these are basically the only output power terminals on the power supply. So that's basically all there is for the CPS. Most of the terminals and most of everything on this power supply is on the AMPS24. Alright, so here are all the terminals on the AMPS24-K2 board. Um, starting on the left hand side, um, this is the USB port for programming. Now I'm going to be making an entire separate video on how to connect this to your computer and how to program it. The programming basically just handles basic charger settings and how it communicates. Um, right here are two switches um, that have to do with the SLC address, I'll get more into that later. Um, this is your SLC connector, um, it has class A, so A plus, A minus, B plus, B minus. And this is basically how it communicates with a fire alarm panel. Right here is basically a auxiliary trouble input, so if you short these two um, terminals right here, it'll bring up a trouble light on here, and I believe once this is connected to a fire panel, it'll actually like bring up a trouble on the panel, just a general trouble. An example of how you'd use that is you connect that to like a surge suppressor with a contact, so the surge suppressor realizes um, that it blew, then it would close the contacts and it would tell the panel there's a trouble. Um, right here is the main output, so this is what connects it to the notifier um, CPU board. Now the AMPS power supply is actually mainly used with the NFS 2-3030 and also the NCA2, which is basically just like the CPU, but it's just a remote network enunciator. Um, so basically there's the EIA45 communications, which only works if you're using the uh, NCA or the 3030 CPU, um, and there are two 24 rails on each side of it. So that's basically how this communicates and powers the CPU or NCA board. You can basically connect this thing to any notifier system running flash scan, that's what the SLC is for. And I think if you connect it to a 3030 or NCA, you don't need the SLC, but I'm not 100% sure that. I'm still waiting for my 3030 CPU. And the last set of terminals on this thing um, are the auxiliary 24 hour output. So this is what you would use just to power um, anything on your system. So this shares the power between this terminal right here and this, and you can pull 3 amps between these two. Um, this, these two rails are actually on their own, and you can pull 5 amps from this. So that's a basic overview of all the terminals, so now let's go over the lights. So first of all, on the CPS24 board, which is this one, you know, normally there are 4 green lights on when the power supply is in normal mode. Um, there's a green light for the 24 volt rail, there's one below it for the 5 volt rail. Right here is a logic power light, and right here there's an AC power light. Now on the AMPS24 board, there's a light right here and a light right here, which just are on to show you that both the outputs are outputting power. And right here there's a blinking green status light. Now I'm not sure if this light right here will go solid green if it is communicating panel or the SLC circuit or anything. I don't have a panel to hook it up to yet. Um, so I'm not sure, but right now it has batteries, it's programmed, and it has um, AC power. So it just blinks green, I think, when it's normal. So this power supply can be used by itself. Like, if you plug in batteries and AC power without programming it, it will just work. You'll have 24 volt output. Um, if you unplug the AC power like that, uh, you'll see that you get a flash code on here, which if you look that up in the manual, that means low AC. And right here, you just get a solid orange light. And I'm assuming on the panel, you would get AC power loss. Um, and if we plug it back in, just like that, the orange light goes off on here. And then in a couple of seconds, the orange light will go off on here. 
Now the CPS24 um, is actually a very common power supply that Notifier uses. I believe the NFS320 uh, and the 640 both use this power supply. I'm not 100% sure on that though. Notifier amplifiers also use this power supply and obviously it's used here. So that's why they decided to pair it up with the AMPS board, which is basically just a way to communicate with it and give a special power to the CPU. So that's all for this video. I'm going to be making um, actually a teardown video of taking this thing apart and a programming guide. And then once I get my CPU, I'm going to be making tons of videos on how to link them together and how to program the two and all that sort of stuff. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video, and I'll see you next time.